Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. A common question that we uh, get or boaters wonder is, Jeff, I'm installing a battery monitor on my boat and it looks pretty straightforward, but where am I gonna be installing the battery monitor shunt? And that sounds simple, but it's actually pretty tricky. So let's have a look at the diagram. So a shunt is this device right here. Um, and a shunt is a way um, for us to measure current going in and out of a battery. So that's really essential. A battery monitor is calculating all the current going in, calculating all the current going out, and it's using that to figure out what is gonna be the battery capacity of your boat. And it's also useful because it's also telling us, oh, I'm maybe charging my batteries at 50 amps, I'm discharging my batteries at 15 amps. So you actually get to see what is getting put in your battery and what's getting put out of your battery. Now, so let's have a look at the diagram. So the shunt is right here, and you'll notice that the battery, the house battery is right here. Positive connections are directly connected directly at the battery. It's possible, right? And we call that uh, often unswitched distribution. But the shunt has to capture all the loads going in and out of the battery. And the first trick to doing that is installing a negative distribution. The negative distribution is what I'm highlighting here, okay? And that is key. You've got to, if you don't have a negative distribution on your boat, you want to install one. You don't want to have too many connections on your battery posts. Trust me, there's a whole video on just negative distribution, but here, take my word, and you want to install a negative distribution if you're going to be installing a battery monitor shunt. So negative distribution right here. And then the shunt right here. And notice how all the current going in, right, or out, is actually going through that shunt. Over time, what happens is people don't understand the purpose of a shunt. It's not their fault, it's confusing. And what they end up doing is they end up bypassing the shunt. So for example, maybe one day someone's gonna be installing a heater on your boat, uh, is gonna be installing downriggers, is gonna be installing a new maybe refrigeration system on your boat. And it's not you, it's someone else. And that person doesn't really understand what a battery monitor is and assumes that connections can be done directly at the battery. Well, that is a big no-no because what happens is if they bypass the shunt, right? This device that I'm highlighting right here, if they bypass that, magically the shunt won't be measuring any of the amperage being drawn from maybe your downriggers or from your heater. And I've had boaters that invite me on board and say, Jeff, my heater is magical. It draws no power. But what they're actually failing to understand, and it's not their fault because they're assuming it's done right, is that their heater is actually bypassing the shunt. And if you bypass the shunt, it can't be counted, and something that can't be counted can't be measured, and therefore it's magical and your heater draws no power. So the location of the shunt is essential and nothing can bypass the shunt. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.